Hi everyone, Tristan here with SUV RVing, back again with another great adventure mobile tour, another great rig tour. This is of Ryan's 2010 Nissan Xterra. I'm really excited, I love Xterras. I wanted one when I was a kid. They're really great vehicles, and Ryan has a really great setup in here. He lives full time in his Xterra, and he'll tell you all about that. This is my 2010 Nissan Xterra. Um, I bought it brand new from my mom uh, just about a year or so ago after she had bought it brand new in 2010. I bought it with less than 100,000 miles on it, so right now it has about 109,000 miles on it. And my father always had the idea of putting a sleeping platform in it for camping. I thought I would just take it one step further and just live out of this thing full time. There wasn't much transition between camping in it and living out of it for me since I'm already a pretty hardcore minimalist and I don't own a lot of stuff in the first place. So this is my sleeping platform here. This is, this, my mom helped me make this. This is just memory foam uh, that she bought from the craft store uh, with some cotton bed sheets. This is sitting on my window coverings, which I don't use too often, but I do use the WeatherTech brand uh, window coverings. I found that they are, that it was easier for me just to buy the whole set from WeatherTech, which is all eight windows at once. So it saved me a lot of time from measuring and cutting it all out and everything else. And I just think they're a lot more durable too. Um, I've had some friends who keep having to, you know, tape theirs up or redo theirs. And so I wanted to save myself from doing that. Underneath that is just some carpet padding. This is, um, I believe it's two or three inch carpet padding on some plywood, you know, real, real low budget, you know, real efficient. Um, and it's really comfortable too. You can sleep, you know, I've slept on just the carpet padding before, but obviously I do prefer the mattress on that. The thing I like most about this sleeping platform is my table setup on it to where I have a couple different options of how I can set up my table to where if I want, if I just need a little bit of space, I can just pull it out a little bit, sit on my bumper and you know, just put my coffee there, put my books, enjoy the view. But what I do more with it rather is pull it completely out. This guy pulls all the way out and I just set it on there. And this thing's actually pretty stable. I mean, you can put a good 50, 60 plus pounds on it. I've had my Pelican cooler, my Jackery battery, um, my jet boil stove, you know, I've had all of my accessories on here at once with no issues. You know, obviously besides space, really nice large space. I can do all the stuff I need. And if I need to, I can even pull it out a little bit more and extend the table with my uh, bed platform to give me even more space if I need to. Um, so that's worked for me really well. Obviously it's super compact, pretty lightweight. It all just slides back in real easy. Slides back in there. Clears the trunk, makes it, you know, real low profile, real, uh, you know, real camouflage in there. So this material um, was, my dad had found this at one of the ReStore shops, just real, kind of hardcore plastic. Um, it's really, it's relatively easy to clean, um, you know, nice and durable. It hasn't cracked, it hasn't faded at all. So that's been really nice. And then when I'm done cooking for the night or when I feel the need to go to bed, I'll just take this guy out. I fold that back in here. And then if you come around here, I'll show you how the bed works. The bed's real easy to set up. Um, it looks, you know, like a civilian vehicle right now when the seat is all forward and everything. Um, my passenger does lose a couple inches of foot room, but no worries there. I can do all this from the driver's seat too if I needed to. I was out of town once and didn't feel the need to get out just because I didn't want to. So what I can do is I can reach over from the driver's seat, pull my seat all the way forward, reach a little further, push that all the way forward. And then that same piece actually slides out to right here to where I can put it right up against the back seat. And then what I do is I have my uh, table extension slash sleeping bed extension. That I pull out from here, slide it back in there. I have my little memory foam mattress piece that I slide back in there. Same driver's seat position. I can reach in and pull my pillow up. And it takes a little bit of a, of a twister game, but I can eventually kind of turn myself around and get in there. But normally what I've been doing for now for the past couple months is um, with the hatch closed, I'll open the door and I'll kind of orient myself in here. And it's real easy. 
this thing is super comfortable. I've probably slept better in this than I've slept in any bed I've ever had. I don't know what makes it work, but it does. I've always been comfortable more in smaller spaces than not smaller spaces. And so I sleep great. And the heat hasn't been bothering me too much, honestly. What I ended up doing is when I started, I had a queen size comforter that I folded in half with a uh, Sherpa, kind of like a cotton Sherpa. It's actually a heated blanket um, underneath that. So it's kind of like a big burrito. Obviously it's super hot now. So I uh, moved all that to my, the storage at my parents' house. My parents give me a pretty good size storage space in their garage to let me store my stuff. And I just use my little cotton throw blanket. And usually even now I don't even sleep with that because you know, even that's been too hot. So I'll sleep with this on the side. I'll just sleep in whatever I'm wearing and it's been really comfortable. When it does cool down about one or two in the morning, which is about when I go to bed anyways, then I'll pull this guy out, kind of lightly drape it over and, and that's been great. I found a really nice rechargeable uh, USB fan. Uh, it's got three different, uh, it's got three different fan settings on it with the low, medium and high. It's even got a function where it'll alternate between all three. So it'll do like low for 30 seconds, medium for 30 seconds kind of thing. And this thing has like a 10,000 milliamp battery in it. It's got a huge battery. I can run this thing on the lowest speed for a good five to six hours every night for a good week. It's, you know, it's really nice. Because it's right here and it just clips onto my uh, closet rod, it's real easy just to have it right there on, you know, on my face or wherever I need. And it's giving me, you know, pretty good cool air to, to uh, come in. Uh, next to it here is my little reading light. I love this thing. This is my Thor Fire Lantern. Um, I found this guy on Amazon and it's, it's kind of the same thing. It's a rechargeable flashlight and it'll recharge easily with the little micro USB port there. And then it actually, you can actually charge your phone with it too. This thing only has like a thousand milliamp battery, maybe a little slower. So I don't really recommend charging your phone off of it because it won't work that well. But one of my favorite things about it is that it can expand into a lantern. So it doesn't get super bright, which I don't really need in the truck. But, you know, when I do when I do need a little light, if I'm reading or, you know, checking my phone before bed, it's been really nice to have. Next to my bed is where I keep my Jackery. I have the Jackery Explorer 300. I've liked the... Explorer 300 because of the USB-C port on it. This one features the two regular USB ports and the USB-C port. And the USB-C port, at first I thought would be nice to charge my phone faster in case if I really needed to charge my phone faster. What I didn't know is that with the 300, you can actually charge the Jackery through your regular charging port and through the USB port and it'll be fully charged in 90 minutes. Two, two regular wall outlets that I use for charging like my laptops, my razors, everything else. Um, the regular uh, car charging port as well, which I haven't used yet. And the thing, the thing that's surprising is how, how small it is. You see pictures of it online and you kind of get a picture of, you know, okay, well, it's going to be this big and this heavy. But I mean, this thing is real small, real portable. You know, real easy for me to take into work. Then on my so-called nightstand, which I'll show you what's in it here in a sec, is that's, this is where I just keep my common charging cables. I keep the micro USB to charge my fan that I plug in through the regular one. And then I actually use Apple's MagSafe charger for the USB-C to use for my phone. Um, my phone's lightning port actually quit working because I guess I'm rough on my charging port. So I'm having to use the MagSafe charger now, but that's actually better because then the charger stays on and I don't have to worry about it, you know, falling off uh, randomly in the middle of the night. On the other side here, um, this is where I, this is kind of like my closet. I'm not a fan of like folding my shirts or rolling my shirts or anything, especially my, my work shirts. So I want to keep them nicer. And so I haven't had uh, any issues with using the closet rod and just your, in just your typical household uh, plastic hangers on them. Um, I keep a nicer set of clothes if I have like a job interview or anything like that. And then for me, it's easy for me to kind of push it aside to get into uh, my garage, my pantry, my junk closet, whatever you want to call it. In here is basically just everything that I, that I need. So I have my jet boil, my coffee press, a uh, couple mugs, my headlamp, um, basically all my tools and anything that I would need to 
basically go comfortably camping. I use the I use the Jetboil Flash. Um, I like the Flash because it has the temperature reading on the side. It boils water in 90 seconds, given on um, given on your conditions. Real easy and uh, real easy and portable to use. I have my pot stand, my gas, um, everything right in there, so that makes it real real portable. And it's worked great. I've had that jet boil for almost a year and, I've, and I, re I still recommend it to everybody. Biggest reason is that temperature reading on the side. That's my favorite thing about it is I know when it's about to boil or when it gets hot. Socks and underwear, again, shirts, my coats. Um, later this year, I'll, I'll hang like my winter coats and everything on there. Stuff that I want easily ex accessible, especially like my rain jacket and my windbreaker. That's easy for me. If it's pouring rain outside, I'm sitting in the driver's seat. I can turn around and unzip it and put it on from the driver's seat and everything like that. So, And then down down towards the bottom, I have just kind of like my, my et cetera stuff. So I have some emergency toilet paper, the rest of my clothes hangers. Next to my toilet paper back there, I have an older folding shovel. So if I'm ever in the in the woods and need to get out, you know, if I'm in the sand, dirt, and I need to dig myself out, that's easily accessible there. I did car detailing as a side hobby, so I always keep a lot of microfiber towels and goo gone and cleaners around. You know, I I know this thing is my house, but I'm trying to still make it look nice and you know get the most life out of it, even from the outside. The last thing I want to start happening is like, you know, rust starting to get in and everything. So it's one of my fun little uh, side things I do is to really detail this and try to keep it nice. Again, back towards the back here is just my Pelican cooler. This is their 20 quart um, cooler. Um, I decided to go with a cooler because I've done more research about coolers and fridges and stuff in a week than I'm sure anybody has in a year. And it's all for me it all just comes down to simplicity a cooler is less moving parts it's less worries about you know something that quits working and then that leads to another thing and yada and so on and so forth um yes it is buying bags of ice but this thing can hold a bag of ice for four days that does require me to use at least one bag of ice to kind of cool it down first but if i throw another bag in it this thing will hold ice for four days easily. Um, little shout out to my Descend on Ben crew. I'm excited to see you guys here in a couple weeks. Um, this will be my next sticker magnet. I'm kind of a sticker dork, so I have stickers everywhere. <laughs> Another thing that I wanted to show is these are the these are motion sensor lights that you can hang on, uh, that I can hang on my roof basket or, or my roof rack or anything. Um, this was a little gift from my dad. He he said he, I believe he got them off Amazon, but he wasn't 100% sure. Um, I haven't used them a whole lot, but the thought is to tie them up somewhere where uh, they can hang down. And these things are actually pretty bright when I did try them. And if I'm ever in somewhere that's, you know, really shady, um, I can hang these up and if the lights turn on, then I'll see them and obviously that'll, uh, you know, detract away from any trouble that I may get. So I do keep them with me. I just don't use them a whole uh, a whole lot, but I'm really grateful that I have them in case if I do need them for, for any time. <laughs> uh, next to my nice cooler here is my Jackery solar panel. I do have Jackery Solar Saga 100 watt uh, foldable solar panel. This is held up by a couple bungee cords that I picked up at Harbor Freight. If you couldn't tell, I like bungee cords. I use them a lot. Um, this one here I actually use to hang the towel that I'll use at the gym to shower and when I hang my towel across there that'll actually create enough enough space to block out the window from the back so it makes it a nice emergency curtain. This Jackery solar panel has been great. Uh, I do use it to charge my Jackery sometimes. It does take about four hours or so to fully charge my Jackery using the solar panel and obviously you have to, I have to kind of keep moving under the shade and just everything to stay comfortable while charging it. Um, but it's really great. I have I've no problems recommending it to, to anybody who does it. For anyone that's wondering, that box hanging there is what I use for my, is what I call my catch-all. What I do before I go to bed is I'll take everything out, like my wallet, my keys, my phone, my glasses, my watch, and I'll just throw it in there so that way it's somewhere, it's one central location that I don't lose it anywhere. You wouldn't think that living in such a compact space you would lose stuff, but you do. And so I finally had to find a way to put my stuff in something relatively small that I know where it's at, you know, when I wake up first thing in the morning, especially if I have to get out of somewhere in a hurry because traffic, 
you know, noise, whatever. So that's been really great. That's actually a, a carrying case for the Jackery 300. I decided to use it just as kind of my catch-all uh, for all my accessories. So that's that's been working really great. <laughs> the bag is on a kind of a car closet rod that I bought at Bed Bath & Beyond. That car closet rod does have little attachments to the handles there, those little silver things. But when I did it at first, I kept ramming, I kept bonking my head into it. And so every time I'd run my head into it, it fell off. You know, my clothes went everywhere. It was, it was annoying. So what I found was the big pack of bungee cords I had was I wrapped the bungee cords kind of around the, the post and around the handles. And I mean, that thing's really sturdy. That thing's actually really been nice for me to get out of bed sometimes because I, it's nice for me to reach up and kind of pull myself up to get out. Once I'm up in a sitting position, it helps my legs move easier to the door to uh, get out. And so that's been really nice. My Thorfire light is actually just on a carabiner that is clipped onto that little silver part for the, um, uh, for, for the closet rod. And so that makes it easier to take off and, you know, bring with me back here to the table or wherever I need. Sometimes I'll even use these straps to hang my, my lantern or anything on it. Just the stock uh, plastic buckle straps that came on the Xterra. Um, this, is, this will be nice to have some extra storage. Um, I'm debating about putting, I do have like my car emergency kit in here if I need it jumper cables, uh, whatever I need. I'm debating about just moving that back here if I need to, but this space back here is also just a space that I don't use very often. So this is just kind of where my stuff that I may need comes up. This is like my extra cup holder, um, my, this, the, my, uh, my selfie stick that kind of bends around, you know, another set of jumper cables. You know, just my emergency stuff so it's so it's good to have the space for for if i do need it but i haven't this is probably my least used space behind the cooler is basically where i keep everything else um, real easy to get to for me this is the backpack that i just use for my shower stuff so um i'm i keep it pretty organized where when i do go to the i use planet fitness to shower and so I'll just take this whole backpack with me and this is just like my shampoo, my soap, and then this is like my razors, my shaving kit, everything else. Dirty clothes bag uh, to kind of separate it. Maybe some cologne, date nights kind of thing. Keeps it real nice and portable, real lightweight. Uh, my routine will be when I get to the gym, I'll take the towel off my bungee cord given that it's dry, uh, put it in my bag, put my socks and underwear for the day in the bag there, zip it all up and it just looks like I'm just going to the gym. Underneath that bag, I have my dirty laundry bag for all my shirts and my jeans and my shorts and stuff when I do need them. I keep my, my laundry soap and my dryer sheets in there. These are Earth Breeze sheets. Obviously, it's not a big bulky container. It's not super heavy. One pack of these is 60 loads for 20 bucks. Um, it's not bad at all. I've had this same pack now for almost three months and I do one load of laundry a week. And so that's been really great. These things come in real little sheets that the, that the laundromat that I use, they just, you just tear it up, uh, put it in with the, where the detergent loads. If you're using it at home, you just throw it right in and it works really well. I've had no complaints with it. It works just as good as any of the other, you know, big name brand. Um, detergents out there. Uh, my laundry sheets, nothing. my dryer sheets, I mean nothing special, just gain, you know, I bought them at the store. This is just a Swiss Gear brand duffel bag. This is a 36 liter. I went to the store and just, uh, I just wanted to find just the biggest duffel bag they had. This is what I use currently to store all my colder weather stuff. So my sweatshirts, my sweaters, my swimming shorts, I have my long johns in there. And eventually I'll I'll keep downsizing even more. Eventually I just want it I just want it to be like a hiking backpack to where if I go somewhere way in the woods and I want to go hiking into somewhere, I just grab my backpack, it's got everything I need and I can just go right there. Kind of behind 
My gym bag here I use as my pantry, just a little reusable grocery bag. I try to keep my, my cooking stuff real lightweight, non-perishable, so I eat a lot of instant potatoes, ramen, you know, but I try to keep it healthy and, you know, good for me and stuff. I live in town, so I do eat out a lot, and I do work in a kitchen, so I end up getting most of my food for the day and everything just work just working. Um, but when I do go out of town camping, I try to practice my backpacking meals and try to keep it lightweight, non-perishable, all that. And then behind that is my chair. The REI's Flexlite uh, Camp Dreamer chair. Um, if I remember right, I believe the Camp Dreamer is the one with the taller back. Um, I'm 6'5", so I do want to have something taller. But obviously this thing is real, real small, real lightweight. Um, I can set this thing up in less than a minute easily, so it's easy for me to kill time before work by hanging out the park, setting up the chair, doing some reading, or, you know, catching up on my phone. So as I mentioned before, the window coverings that I have are from WeatherTech directly. You can buy them off their website. They have a category for like their floor mats and their accessories, and they do have a category for their window coverings. They've had their window coverings out for about a year or so, and like I said, they've worked really great. I just looked up the model number of my truck, and they sent me, and, and you can get the, the whole package that covers all eight of my windows. It's got the, the silver side uh, to keep the sun out, and then the black obviously to keep it cooler on the inside if I need to. The system is really nice because even if you do have a vehicle with a lot of windows, they'll tell you which window goes to which one. So my Xterra can be kind of confusing because my my rear passenger window can be, you know, kind of confusing with my with one of my passenger windows kind of thing. So that's been nice to have them clearly marked to see which one goes where. Um, they fit pretty decently in there. You do have to use the silver side out to make them fit like exactly in there so that's kind of been the one the only downfall of it but once you kind of get it all folded in all around the the window wells you know it's not it's not going anywhere i keep these ones in these windows pretty much just to remind me that i have them you know in case if i am camping somewhere if, or if i am somewhere that i feel like i need them i go oh yep they're just they're right under my bed on the outside of uh, Big Red here is my Yakima uh, rack. Um, that I have used this before to put my mountain bikes and my road bikes up there when I was doing a lot of uh, bike riding. I was given a roof basket uh, as a Christmas present and so that's been really nice. Um, this is a Rhino Rack brand roof basket and then what I have in there right now is actually a couple of folding stools. These folding stools I have uh, just hanging on there uh, with my favorite thing, bungee cords. And I mean, these things don't go anywhere. They don't make any noise. It doesn't whistle. It doesn't do anything at all. I like having these when my dining room table is out and I want to sit someone across from me. We can have coffee, play cards, you know, eat, whatever, uh, whatever we need to. Those have been really nice and easy to just fold back up and put them back in my roof basket. And it's even been stable enough for me to go through regular car washes with them. The car wash people have given me some flack about the, about the bike rack that I used to have on the back. They haven't said anything at all about these chairs being up there. And I've ran them through numerous times and have had no issues with them. It's been really great. Up here when I'm driving, um, I have basically my, my whole setup up here. I have my aftermarket stereo. It's a Pioneer touchscreen Bluetooth uh, stereo deck. It's easy for me to Bluetooth my favorite music from my phone onto it. Uh, next to it, I have my phone uh, holder. This is one of my newer items I just picked up. This is an IOT, however you pronounce that. Real easy to just push in that hangs it on there. That's been real nice for me to see my maps and where I want to go off-road and stuff like that with, and still giving me plenty of space to do all my music and stuff. I have my four-wheel drive controls up here. This thing is full four-wheel drive, so I do have the four high and the four low. That's come in handy more, more often than I thought. Um, next to it here, I have my USB port that I can do my Apple CarPlay uh, to get a better view of my maps and GPS and everything else. This bag here, I do keep for just some microfiber cloths. So I like having these guys always handy if I need to clean something or if I'm you know, trying to clean it up a little bit more, if I make a spill, anything like that. I, um, these are left over from my car de detailing days uh, a couple of years ago, so I've, I've had a ton of them. But this is real easy for me 
This is just slung obviously over the headrest and so when I do have a passenger with me, I can just sling it back there and then my passenger has the full seat to sit in and come on the road trips with me. I really liked WeatherTech's um, accessories and the things that they do make. Uh, one of my favorite things I do have is their wind deflectors here that, that will go into the windows. I've seen some of them that stick on the outside or you know other things like that, but these ones will actually stick into the windows. In the winter, uh, I can still have my windows up to, up to just where the wind deflectors are and it keeps the ventilation in. They say that the last thing you want to do if you're sleeping in your vehicle, especially in the winter, is to have your windows all the way up because then the condensation and the hot air can actually get into things like your headliner. Then your headliner starts falling off and you have a bunch of issues like that. So I did buy them originally for the looks. I thought, I thought my rig would look cooler with these on there, but these have come in handy to where I do, if I do want the windows open when it's raining or stuff like that, I can just crack the windows down. They've worked really great. Well, thank you, Ryan, for sharing your Xterra with us. Uh, you guys should go follow uh, Ryan on Instagram. What's your Instagram? My Instagram account? here is Big Red X two hundred eight. Um, I'm always posting my camping trips and you know hiking things and all the new developments I have here with my Xterra. He's got a lot of good stuff on there. A lot of pictures of his setup. If you want to see more, if you want to go ask him questions there, that would be a good place to do it. Uh, you can also leave a comment below, and we'll be going through those and answering those as we can. And we'll also put links to some of the the accessories and some of the uh, the things that Ryan has in his car here. We'll put links to those in the description. And if we forget something, let us know and I'll, I'll try to find the link for that. But thanks again, Ryan. Yep. And uh, thanks, thank, you. thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Be sure to check out Adventure Know How, my new site, where you can gain access to a map of all of my free campsites, plus monthly bonus videos that you won't find anywhere else. Learn more at adventureknowhow.com. And for links to everything else SUV RVing related, visit suvrving.com. Links to these sites and more will be in the video description.